cat. Welcome back everybody to our second day, day numero dos, I've probably said that wrong, of the tournament highlights. After our first set of games which featured a shocking breach of rules, uh, questionable endgame decisions and a well-earned win for Hopeless Boy, the tensions and expectations were starting to mount up for the remaining competitors. Who would be taking the second place in Saturday's final? Well, on Tuesday we saw Wazorus, Classic Nicola, Jaboss TV, Zombie Queen J, and Rennie going head to head for that honor. The rules were exactly the same as yesterday, so I'm not gonna bother going over those again. The only thing to note is that the killer for these matches is the King of Pain himself, the Cenobite. Before we see what happened though, remember that the Just Given link is in the description if you guys want to donate to the page in any capacity. It's still open and any support would be really appreciated. And of course, drop a like if you enjoy these games, let me know your favorite moment in the comments and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss a single day of the action. And without any further ado, enjoy the games and have a fantastic day. Bye for now. Bye. Ooh, right, let's do it. Rennie is running Vigil, Stake Out, Ace in the Hole, Blast Mine, Nicola is running Buckle Up, Bite the Bullet, Visionary and Distortion, Jibas is running Off the Record, Head On, Overcome, and Breakdown, and Zombie Queen is running Soul Guard, No One Left Behind, Vigil, and Aftercare. Let's get straight in, find Wiz, see what Wiz is doing. Uh, Rennie is straight on the gen, Jibas is about to hop on the gen as well. I think Rennie is working on one with Nicola. Wiz is here, um, chasing, chasing, um, Rennie straight off the bat, just a straight chase, let's go, let's do it. Wiz is running fire up. I think I saved the best for last. Call of Brian and Grim in Brace. So to be fair, not bad perks. All right, so let's see if um, she can find one. Look at this. Look at this uh, chain hunt already building up, getting ready to start as well. This I think is going to be a really interesting thing to watch about Pinhead is the chain hunt. Who's going to go for the boxes? Are they going to just suffer the chain hunt for a little bit in order to get gens done? How are the survivors going to react to it? That's going to be really fun to watch. Oh, here we go. Nice hit there for classic Nicola. And Classic just drops the God Palace straight away. No worry about saving that pallet whatsoever. <laughs> Wiz did choose to teleport over there, which to be fair, I wouldn't have done that personally. I think I would have kept pressure on Nicola. Oh, a bit of a body block there. But uh, Nicola gets away with it. But this gen is about to be done as well. Got pressure that one. We get blast mine value there. That's unlucky for Wiz. Wiz actually choosing to damage the gen instead of going for a hit there. That's three gens that we can hear that are very near completion as well. So that that's really bad for um for Wiz there. First gen is down. Second gen is down. That is so unlucky for Wiz. Nice. Wiz trying to get some use out of her power. Unlucky there. That was that was a difficult shot. There we go. Third gen popped. This is a really hard loop. To be fair, this map overall is quite difficult uh, for a killer. It's got a very strong middle loop and the loops uh, dotted around the place are very strong as well. Oh, nice fake there from Jabas. Very nice fake. Well done. Not a fake that time though. Very nice. So Wiz really respects pallets and I think the more she respects pallets as we go on, the more the survivors are going to be aware of that. All right, so two gens left. No hooks thus far, but a chain hunt has just started. So that should hopefully slow down the gen progression a little bit and maybe also help um, Wiz get Jabas here down but there is a pallet here i think which is oh i didn't think he was going to drop it and i actually thought he was going to try and run past rennie has taken chase now allowing jaboss to get away and um oh i didn't think that would have hit but fair play i think nicola's here coming in to take a hit yeah she is she's coming to take a hit to take a bit of um pressure away from jaboss and rennie very nice well done there you go and the chain's coming in clutch rennie is the first down Nothing well done to wiz must come with me I love his voice lines. Oh, and look at the flash I saved. That was close. All right, Nicola choosing to solve the box and save the rest of her teammates uh, rather than just running away. And a flashlight save coming in. Oh, fire up. That's fire up value right there. Very nicely done. I think if she didn't have fire up there, that would have been a solid, um, a solid hit there. A solid flashlight save. So that's unlucky for zombie there. But Nicola manages to wiggle off anyway. So that's unlucky. Um, Wiz will put some pressure on Nicola now. The pallets around here have gone thanks to Jaboss's chase earlier, which is a bit of a shame for Nicola. Ironic Sparkles, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome into the community. Nice. Unlucky on that spin there from Nicola, but well done to Wiz to get that down. This should be a second hook here, I think. Let's see where everybody else is currently. So Zombie is just nobbing around, but look at it, it's fair. As is Rennie, as is Jabas, as is Nicola. So no one is currently on gen, so there's no gen pressure being put on Wiz right now. So Call of Brian reactivated on that gen, and now you're chasing Zombie Queen. Again, a very strong loop here. 
a full respect on the pallet there. This is going to be a hit there. Very nicely done. Bit of a mistake there from Zombie. Should get that. That should be a hit. The slow vault from Zombie. Oh, that is devastating. Unlucky. Um, nice down there from Wiz. Well played. Well played. So Wiz needs to put some pressure on this gen in here before it gets completed. Unlucky to Rennie running straight into the killer there. You know what? Wiz is doing some uh, doing really well here to stop the progression of the gens. That's where that's a gen popped. They must have jumped on this while she was chasing Rennie. That's insane. Rennie was used as bait then, effectively. Nice and cheeky hit there before Jabos dropped. So who has not been hooked, you ask? Jabos has not been hooked and everybody else is on first hook. Now, right now, Nicola or Zombie needs to come in realistically and take the uh, take the bait. But Rennie is actually taking it, unfortunately, here. Oh, that is so unlucky. Got a core on the pallet. Wiz being very brave there to pick up in the pallet, but fire up value, I guess. There we go. Wiz here with one gen left has four hooks, four stacks of fire up, three stacks of save the best for last. So that's obviously from leaving Nicola. So she's a little bit faster. This is a nice speed boost, to be fair, build. There is a bit of a three gen situation going on here. These two gens are obviously super close together. And there's one over in the back corner that's a bit further away. But overall, not the greatest positions of gens for the survivors, to be fair. What's Renny doing? Renny's on death hook and was chilling in a locker? What do you mean? What? That's Renny out because Renny was chilling in a locker and slow exited the locker. Oh my God, that is a big oof. Unlucky to Renny, GG well played. Nicola and Zombie are both on one hook each. Jabos is on no hooks. Um, so to be fair, there's not really anyone here that she can put a lot of pressure on apart from zombie Which I think she is going to do. That's a mad respect on the pallet there and the last gen has been completed We are in endgame anything goes now. I don't think there's any pallets back here. There might be one No, there are no pallets here zombies in big trouble there. She goes down unlucky unlucky and a gate is open Holy shit. I think that's G bus not wasting any time. Just getting a just get a gate open and G bus has left <laughs> G was going for their cells. Nicola has the box in her hand. That's going to be sucky for her because she's going to be constantly baffled by the. There you go. She you solves for the teleport. I came. That's not a good position to be in. She either had to suffer the chain hunt or she had to go and uh, teleport, uh, get the teleport to her. She's going to go for the save here. Nicely done. So both are injured. It makes more sense. Oh, she's going to go for Nicola. Not actually zombie. That is unlucky. Nicola could be out of the game here. Um, oh, zombie going for a cheeky flashlight save, but doesn't unfortunately get it. There's no farming. Yep, zombie goes straight down. Wow. A 3k for Wiz on the starting line. G Bus wasting no time in saving himself and just fucking dipping out of there. And I believe. That Jabos has not been hooked, so Jabos will actually receive a 3,000 point bonus for that game. Never, never would happen. Absolutely not. All right, let's start the match. Let's mute the thing. Right, Jabos is running. Visionary. Borrow time. We have a borrow time gamer. Power struggle and sprint burst. Rennie is running object of obsession. Guardian, ace in the hole and self-aware. Wiz is running deja vu. Guardian, blood pact and distortion. Zombie is running deception, left behind, premonition and small game. Uh, oh, we got three man gen just straight off the bat, I think, here. Let's go over to Nicola. Nicola is running Haunted Ground, Cornerophobia, Distressing, and Starstruck. Now, this this three build here is really good. This is obviously... Um, oh, that's unlucky from Rennie then. Dropping the pallet on the wrong side. Nicola outplaying Rennie straight off the bat with a pretty decent mind game. One gen down. And that's Haunted Ground is now in active session for 60 seconds. You see all of them skittering. All of them running. All of these survivors like, fuck. Jabas, body blocks are not going to help you here. Is this going to be a Haunted Ground? No, she's actually going for Rennie here. Wow, okay, she decided to ignore the fact that Haunted Ground was active and just went instead for the down on the injured person. Interesting choice. Oh, going for the tunnel, but borrowed time being active there. There you go. Wiz will probably pre-drop that. Oh, no. Oh, a cheeky mind game. Oh, very nicely done. I think the ping may have uh, not helped with that one, but she actually got teleported to the other side of the pallet there. And Jabas has managed to complete a gen. Sprint Burst is active into the borrowed time. I think Rennie's in a bad position here. I don't actually think he's got much to go on unless he tries to jump down. No, he didn't. All right, second hook for Rennie. Wiz is on one hook. Jabas and Zombie are on no hooks. Wiz choosing to... Oh, nice hit. Well done from Nicola there. And again, getting teleported to the other side to um, 
to that. Oh, and Renny with a Sabo of the hooker, an attempted Sabo. Zombie taking a hit there. Um, three gens still up and three hooks up. This is... Um... Oh, unlucky there. Zombie hitting off one of those sexy 360s, but Nicola gets her down on the second one. All right, Wiz is fully healed now. Very nice. Uh, one more gen has popped her on two gens now. All right, so Wiz taking Nicola to the other survivors, interestingly. Oh, okay, Wiz, Wiz is not choosing to after Renny. And there is the starstruck value. That was very well done from Nicola, to be fair. Remembering who was in the terror radius when she has starstruck active and going for that instant down. Very nicely done from Nicola. Well played, well played. So, Zombie is still on the hook. No one has yet gone to save Zombie here. Um, but I think they will make it before she goes to second phase. They will, yes. Nice hit there on your boss. Well done, well done from Nicola. Wiz, still on hook. Um, these two are over here. So this is Zombie and Rennie over here, I believe. Jabos being chased. This might be bad for Wiz. If um, if Nicola manages to zone these guys. They're, all three of them are here. No one is currently going... Oh, that's unlucky. That's an unlucky swing there. They should make it to the end of the other map, uh, the map in time. But it, it might be close. Nice play. Well done. Wiz has gone out. Wiz is out. That was... What? No one saved Wiz on the hook. Oh my god, the scenes. Wiz has gone out with two gens still up. Rennie is on death hook. Zombie is still injured. This is not looking good for the survivors. Oh my days. Rennie being chased with the chain on active. Wiz going out with no one to save her. That was excellent zoning from Nick to keep all three survivors in the... And Rennie's down. Oh my god. So Rennie and Wiz now out. Zombie and G-Boss both on one hook, but Zombie is still injured. Nicola now has to make a choice on whether to drop chase with Jabos and go for Zombie or to just keep chasing on Jabos and hope for the best. A very nice fake there from Jabos. Well done on that one. And he makes this pallet over. Very nice. Very nice fake. Well done. But very nice done. Jabos making a run for it now. That is one gen down. One gen left up. None of the other gens have been worked on yet as far as we know. But to be fair, she, I think she zoned him quite well here. This is a bad zone. He must. Yeah, he had to, he had to take it there. Jabos making his way over to this loop here. Oh, very nicely done. Very well played on the chain hunt there. And the down for Nicola. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. Oh, my God. All right, so this is Jabas going onto the hook. All right, nice, nice. Very nice done. Very nice looping here. But she doubles back, and that's huge. Very well done. Good mind game from Nicola. This is Zombie now going on to Death Hook. Jabos is on Death Hook as well. And where is Jabos? Not on a gen, so there's no gen pressure right now. Okay, so Chain Hunt is still active. I think Zombie's going for this box here to try. But Jabos is down. Jabos is down. And Jabos on Death Hook. This could mean it's a hatch game for Zombie. Your boss is out. That is a definite 3k for Nicola with Zombie. She knows roughly where Zombie is because Zombie had to obviously solve that box. So she knows she's got the scratch marks. This could be really bad for Zombie. She's got her in her sights. I think Zombie screwed here. She's zoned. And the hatch was right there. Oh, Zombie almost made it to the hatch. But in fact, she doesn't. And she closes the hatch. And Zombie going down. Nicola with a 4k. Why is she swinging? She's crazy. She's absolutely bonkers. She's showing off at this point. Well done. Well done. What a game. What a game full of the ups and downs, backs and forths. It was crazy. But Nicola with a 4k. So Classic Nicola is running Boon, Exponential, Deja Vu, Kindred, and Premonition. Wiz is running Balance Landing, Bite the Bullet, Repressed Alliance, and Breakout. Good perks. Rennie is running Urban Evasion, Empathy, Botany Knowledge, and Open Handed. Zombie is running Hope for the People, Windows of Opportunity, and Aftercare. And if we see what Jabas is running, Rennie and Jabas, um, already on a gen there. Um, Jabas is running Ruin, Infectious Fright, Floods of Rage, Scourge Hook Floods of Rage, and uh, Lightborn, I believe that is. Uh, I think it's Lightborn. It's not Shadowborn. This is somebody on the gen down here who's about to find straight away. Very nice. Oh, and Wiz just sticking that gen. No worries at all about the consequences. And Wiz going straight down, pointing. Did you see that? Wiz pointed instead of dropping the pallet. I think that was a misclip on... A misclick, sorry, on Wiz's part. And that sucks. Rennie taking a hit there. Very interesting. Nice. Okay, so Rennie's hit taking there. The body blocking paid off. Wiz saved from a hook straight off the bat. But Jabas coming in, using his power very nicely. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The survivors may be in trouble here in a way that they have not been before. A chain hunt is now active. Now active. Oh, okay. We got a um, zombie to the left there. Um, and he has spotted, I think, Nicola over there. Zombie actually giving a little bit of a clicky click there, trying to get um, Jabas's attention. Does he tunnel? 
He doesn't. He actually made an active effort then not to tunnel. Interesting. We've not yet seen anybody just tunneling straight off the bat. So this is very interesting to see how everybody is deciding to play. Excellent chain. Nicola taking this pallet, I think, here. Yeah, very nice. Oh, a bit of a moonwalk. Very well played. Oh, the survivors at the moment are a little bit all over the place. I feel like they need to bring themselves in and start really cooperating on what they're doing. Uh, two people around the hook then was not necessarily, especially when Wiz is injured. Wiz should not have been around the hook then. Okay, that's a pallet drop, surely? Rennie choosing not to drop the pallet there. That is an interesting choice. That did not work out well for him at all. So Rennie on the first hook. Let's check the hooks real quick. So we've got Nicola is on one hook. Wiz is on one hook. Rennie's on one hook. Zombie is on no hooks at the moment. Is anybody on a gen? No one is on gen. We have five gens up and no gen pressure whatsoever at the moment. Jibas now chasing Zombie. Zombie doing a moonwalk there. A cheeky little moonwalk. Didn't pay out, didn't work out for you well at all there, zombie, I don't think. Um. <laughs> Wiz, in a world of her own, not understanding in any way, shape, or form where the killer actually is, just having a good time walking through the pallets. Unlucky on that spin from Rennie there. Rennie goes down here. That's another pallet greed. Rennie greeting these pallets, not understanding that he that didn't work out for him last time, and just going for it again. And I think Wiz is in trouble here. That is Wiz down. Is this Wiz's uh, last one? No, it's only a first one, to be fair. That's not too bad. Okay, cool. Rennie is in a bad position here and will go down. Oh, no, he's in the couch. He's in the couch. Oh, the scenes. He hit the couch. He's mad at the couch for some reason. And Rennie lives to fight another day. All right, Rennie has a loop here. Rennie needs to not greed the pallets and needs to play smart. But he greets again. He greets again. <laughs> Greeting God Pallet. But one gen has finally popped. Nicola being chased here. Everybody has been hooked. Wiz is on death hook. Zombie on one hook. And, and Nicola on one hook too. And another chain hunt has started with four gens still up. All right. So I think Nicola has gone away now. Zombie now in trouble there. Really. Oh, nice little fake there from Zombie to confuse him. But you don't make this loop. Yeah, you do not make that. Infectious Fright telling him exactly where the other two are as well. Oh, dear. But, but we're sticking it. We're actually sticking it and repressed Alliance play to stop him from kicking that gen. Uh, just to let that gen live a little longer. And Nicola getting screwed by the chain hunts there. Very unlucky for Nicola. Wiz actually choosing... Yeah, there you go. Making the save. Making the save. Very nice. And Wiz goes down. And that is Wiz out of the game. Very nice from Jabbar. So we have Nicola and we have Zombie. Um, both on death hook. Both injured. With four gens left. It is not looking good for these survivors. And a cheeky moonwalk. And Nicola hiding in the corner. There's Hatch. Jabos taking it. No, there is Zombie as well. Almost getting it for the second time. But Zombie goes down and Jabos secures the 4K in a way that was brutal for those survivors. Holy shit. There were no prisoners taken on that one. That was insane. All right, let's see what we got. Jabas is running Tenacity, Spine Chill, Balance Landing, and Red Herring. Rennie is running Borrow Time, Any Means Necessary, No One Left Behind, and Sprint Burst. Nicola is running Technician, Deliverance, Red Herring, and Counterforce. Riz is running Counterforce, Diversion, Built to Last, and Guardian. These are really good perks on all of the survivors, to be fair. We are on... Oh, Eerie of Crows. Zombie is running uh, Blood Echo. Brutal Strength, Zanshin Tactics, and Remember Me. Now, I'm not going to lie. Zombie did get a little bit screwed. Oh, and the Sprint Burst coming in clutch there for Rennie. Make that vault. Ooh, not quite, not quite. Big hit there for uh, Zombie there on Rennie. And that's one gen popped. g -Bus has the box as well, so no issue with a chain hunt. Zombie choosing to teleport to G instead of chasing Rennie. All right, Zombie should get a hit here, to be fair. Unless uh, G can throw... Nicely done. Zombie actually being patient right there and waiting out the spin, which was very smart of her to do. Um, and your boss is in a good place here. To be fair, this, this building is pretty good for him. Although that, that, that build may not have been old in. There we go. And Jabas made a mistake, but that's two gens popped. Straight off the bat, these, these guys are just flying out of the gens. But Rennie is setting up for the save. Ooh, and there. Nice use of the sprint burst again from Rennie. Nice hit there. Nice hit around the corner there for Zombie. Well done. Renny now probably going to take a down there because that was a bit of a, a bit of a, yeah, there's the down. G has been saved. There you go. All three of them are there. Not one person bothering to take a body block. Not one person there just being like, you know what? I'll take a hit. 
Jabus wasting no time dropping a pallet there. Not greeting it like Rennie did. Just drop it. That was a nice little fake there, though, from Rennie. Well done, but he... Boy, I thought he was going to take a hit. Oh, and Zombie's doubles missed. The double whiff from Zombie there. That is devastating. Jabus surviving another day. Well done to G there. Very well played. And uh, one more gen has popped. And Zombie choosing to vault... And vault back. A little bit of a mind game there. And Wiz goes down. Very well done on that mind game. Three hooks with one gen left. It looks like Zombie's in a bit of a bad position, but she could definitely pull this back 100%. Zombie struggling to find people, and that's the last gen. Nicola, remember, hasn't been hooked, so this is probably the worst person that Zombie could have come up against. All the other two, all the other three, sorry, have been hooked. But Nicola taking a slap there, very nicely done. And there's Wiz running for the exit gate. Zombie choosing to drop chase and go for Wiz, trying to probably capitalize on that one hook state that she has on Wiz, which is fair. And but a, a door is open. It's a door is open. Ooh, that is unfortunate. And that is Rennie chilling in the exit gate. We have the other three over here. Oh no, Nicola's been chased. And no one is yet taking a, a hit for Nicola. Nicola could go down. This could be really bad for Nicola here. We'll see what these other two are. Here they come, here they come, they're coming in. I don't know what's going on here. This is a dance. Just a little dance back and forth. Uh, Nicola going for it, but oh, we have two body blockers coming in. Nicola, I think, just needs to run for that for that end gate. The other two trying to take, uh, get in the way and take some hits. Jabas is now taking a hit. And I think Nicola, there's Nicola. Where is Wiz to take the hit? Yes, Nicola will get out. Very nicely done. Uh, oh, what happened there? Wiz couldn't get out. Wiz couldn't get out because of the chains and Wiz is in a bad position. Oh, Wiz goes down. <laughs> oh, the chains coming in clutch. The chain hunt right at the end coming in clutch to screw Wiz over so dramatically. Wiz on her second hook. Now, what is Rennie's play here? Rennie is setting up for the save, but he's in a bad position. Been spotted. Been spotted, but it doesn't even drop it. Uses his sprint burst really well, really effectively there. And the borrowed time coming in clutch as well. And Rennie taking some of the aggro there. Zombie taking her anger out on a tree. And Rennie taking the slap and should also get out. Wiz has also left. And Rennie should get out here for the full survivor escape. What an end game. GG's to all involved. That was a tough game for Zombie there. All right, let's see what we've got for the final game. Jabas is running Overcome, Blast Mine, Spine Chill, and we're going to live forever. Nicola is running Technician, Inner Healing, Autodidact, and Diversion. Wiz running Small Game, Distortion, Dark Sense, and Up the Ante. And Zombie running Adrenaline, Vigil, Boon Circle of Healing, our first Boon Circle of Healing, and a Boon Dark Theory as well. Rennie coming in with the killer. Jabas already on this. We're in Backwater Swamp. Rennie is running Shadowborn, Overcharge, Deadlock, and Sloppy Butcher. Taking that vault. Oh, I reckon, you know what? I reckon actually if Rennie had decided to, to go for that hit, he might have hit her. All right, that's one gem popped. Nicola just in chase constantly. Should get to this pallet in time. Rennie choosing to actually go for a chain instead. Using his chains very tactically and Nicola will take the hit here, I reckon. So one gem down. Jabos has the um, the bucks, but Rennie taking... Oh no, Rennie is going to switch chase and go after Jabos. Very nice use of his chains there to go for a slap. And Nicola's it. Oh, Nicola got caught out there. That is unfortunate for Nicola. And there is Nicola just holding. Nicola falling down. But oh my days. That is terrible for Nicola, who is now going on to her second hook of the game. Two gens have now popped. Two hooks are down. And Wiz running Rennie actually quite well. No, he is gonna he is gonna in fact go for Jabas. No, that's a big hit. That was a very nice corner swing to catch Jabos off guard before he could drop that pallet. Nicola is 60% done on a gen. Wiz and Jabos uh, double manning this one, but I think Wiz... No, he's going after Jabos. He's not actually going after Wiz, so Jabos taking a hit. And Wiz is going to be taking some body blocks by the look of it. But he's going straight for Jabos, who's going to be camping that pallet. He, oh, he could have swung through. He could have swung through there. I think if Rennie had swung through there, Jabos would have went down. That's the third gem popped. Oh, that's close. I think Wiz might go down here. No, she managed to scout just to get... Uh, zombie, I think, is coming in from them right here, probably to set up for that flashlight. Setting up for that flashlight. And almost got it, but Wiz was able to just flick that round. Wiz is trying to get off. What is Wiz doing? She took it. What is she doing? No, you've only got a little bit of... No, that's the second attempt. 
But I think Zombie's here to save her before she goes to second hook. Oh my god. And taking a hit. Unlucky Nicola. This, uh, this is a risky play. Oh, she's using the diversion tactic. Okay, actually, I take it back. Very decent play from Nicola there just to throw the attention elsewhere, allow her to get into the boon and be healed by Zombie. The potential injure and getting that one there. Unlucky. Almost a very, very nice 360 there from Jabas. I think he goes down here. He's been zoned really badly and she goes down. And Zombie completing another gen. One gen left. Jabas has been saved before he went into second uh, by Wiz, I think. Uh, Zombie about to pop this gen to go into the last gen. Uh, Zombie using the adrenaline to get to the gate. Zombie should get this done. Wiz healing herself in the boon circle of healing. Nicola on the other escape. It doesn't look like anyone's being pressured by the killer right now. Um, and I think everybody will indeed escape. Are we ready to hear the final scores? Yes. And find out who is progressing on to the final. In last place, with 89,092 points, we have the wonderful Rennie. In fourth <laughs> place, with 118,000 259 points, which I just want to point out was more than the winner of yesterday, by the way. So Zomb uh, Zombie came in fourth place with oh, 118,259. Really? Oh, now, with, with 2,000 points more, we get to third place. Just to, just to really hammer in how close it was between the top four. With 120,328, we have Wazorus, which means that vying for the top spot is Nicola and Jabas, the winner of round two and going through to the final to face hopeless and three other people for the chance to win is jibaus <laughs> congratulations jibaus hey, you won thank you so much <laughs> nicola coming yeah. in second place nicola got 128,324, and jibaus won with 148,848 points an incredible victory nice. i love you all thank you for being here and i will see you very very soon I guess. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never give it up. You know I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you.